<sighs> I thought that would look cooler. Anyway, Jake's going to Japan soon to study abroad. So, we decided to teach him how to survive in Japan. This might get a little... I'm going to try and keep it on the edge. Jake told us a couple months ago that he was applying to go study abroad in Japan this upcoming next fall semester, and we were all really excited for him, you know? Uh, it sounds like a really cool experience. Uh, the only problem is Jake knows very little about Japan, uh, and also doesn't really like seafood. So we decided to help our buddy by teaching him how to be Japanese. And now that I say it out loud, it doesn't sound great. Our first stop was a Japanese grill house to acclimate Jake with sushi. We thought it'd be a good idea to get Jake's palate ready for the seafood he would be eating over in Japan. Unfortunately, well, uh, things didn't quite go the way I expected them to go. Wait, guys, where's, guys, where's Jake? <laughs> Guys, where's Jake? He's waiting inside. He's right there. Come on He's in. Inside. I'll show you, Jake. We're gonna, we're gonna teach him all about Japan, right? Come on in. Oh no. It soon became clear once I got inside that Jake was not actually in the restaurant, and I had been bamboozled. Um, thank you, Mr. Mentor. Yeah, that's I remember that. Yeah. Stop my screen Cancer, man. Actually, don't. <laughs> so does someone oh, call, call Jake this just, just to check, maybe make sure he's actually- can, can Jake he... is dead. I had my suspicions when Mike said that Jake was dead. Mike had bamboozled me before, and I wouldn't be bamboozled again. So Mike, I guess we're gonna teach you how to be Japanese. Oh. You love Japan, right? <laughs> More than anyone. Look, Look at this 2D yeah, eyes. Mike was just telling me about yeah. how he loves those commies and communism. And, and anime, right? It's commies? Mike, you love Japanese. Japanese. Anime, right? Yeah, they were communists. Yeah. They were. When? During the World War II, they were so communists. Yeah, they were. Steve was our resident expert on all things Japanese. Why doesn't laying it on the plate mean you're done eating? And uh, or never, you're, you're not supposed to like, it's that's rude just to take, while you're eating, like take chopsticks and point them at people, like use them as like a little pointer, like haha, like well, it looks hey, like dude. we don't have to teach hey, Jake anything. So Steve, we're right. supposed to slurp our, our food, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, hard slurping indicates that you very no. much enjoy the food. Oh, I, th I thought you were supposed to. <gasps> I'm gonna slurp. You can't say that. Kind of. I had a break to see Not to teach how to use chopsticks, but how to use proper manners and using chopsticks. And one of them is not playing around with them. What do we got here, asshole? What are you talking about, Steve? I'm not sure why he knew so much about Japan, but I'm not sure why Steve knows most of the things that he knows. He just kind of knows things. And we respect him for it. We gotta teach you for the for the fog how to use stuff. Okay, that's my problem. Just like she apologized for being used to us. Bitch, you got you got to stay. No. I was like, why is she doing this? Is she? Because he's not a dang vegan. Mike, what? you figured it out. Go ahead. Uh, I'll need a fork. I want to taste like a leak. Well, if you're not gonna have your sending this that's, video that's to Jake though, right? He's gonna watch it yeah, well, right that, there. That's what we'll do. We'll just send it to Jake. He doesn't need to be here. We're learning for him. Perfect. Oh. Timmy had been texting me nonstop several days before, telling me that he had the perfect thing to teach Jake about Japan. Let me show you, kids. Let him. Oh, Wii U Pro Control. Wii U Pro Control. Yeah, where's the real goods? Once I found out what it was. I was less than enthused. Bye, Mike. Mike, you're leaving? You're see if Stables is open? No. <laughs> but Mike, Japan. After the restaurant, we went to Alex's house. We knew there we could teach Jake a few more key things that he would need to know before going to Japan. 
Uh, so Alex, I don't yeah. know if you heard, but uh, this squad wants Jake's to not here. Oh. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This whole no, this the only reason you people are here is because we're gonna teach Jake how to be Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, yeah. So instead, we're gonna use this video, give it to Jake, and he's gonna learn Japanese from <laughs> us learning each other. You realize he doesn't leave for like two more months. We could still. Just refilm. Two months goes by. But Alex, <laughs> Alex was right. There still were a few more months before Jake was actually going to be leaving to go to Japan. But I, I think we were all preparing ourselves for missing our friend because he would be gone for at least three months. Yeah, sure. He, there's planes and trains and cars, and we could walk to him if there were no other way. The best way to teach Jake about Japanese history was to reenact it through the game of Risk. Like, um, the Everything is as it should be. Forget this game. Oh, it's geez. Yep. Right, so we're doing a talk about the movie. Yeah. Like, kind of like, wow. kind of random, uh, mm -hmm. random chance of that happening. Yeah. As the game of Risk progressed and Steve and Michael were playing Monster Hunter videos behind us, I started to think about what it would be like if I was the one going to Japan being thrust into a new unknown culture that I was unfamiliar with, hence it being unknown. Great redundancy. I thought about the benefits of actually jumping in, diving in completely uninformed and unaware of what you were getting into. There's a sort of elegance to being ignorant, to learn new things along the way, at your own pace. The learning experience becomes just that, an experience. And I think maybe we should just let Jake have that experience. Because after all, life is just a collection of unorganized, chaotic experiences. <laughs> those in Japan oh, town, right? Korea, yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Little Tokyo. No. Tokyo. Reg oh, regular Tokyo. Medium Tokyo. So they're important. They have to be. 